Ken, you, you got in the game last week, I guess. What was going through your mind knowing all that you went through after you know the injury in 2020 and how hard you worked to get there? Yeah, it was a pretty surreal feeling. Uh, you know, something I've been working for for a long time. I uh, got the game taken away in 2020. I uh, had to, you know, sit back and watch from the sidelines, learn from the sidelines. So to get that opportunity to go out there, you know, it's just a dream come true. How do you look at now the reserves at defensive end uh, with Daniil being hurt? I mean, is there, uh, and you picked up a guy yesterday, Jonah Williams, you got Patrick Jones yourself. Is there competition now to see who's going to be maybe the top reserve or what have you? Yeah, I think we compete every day in practice. Uh, you know, we have a good group of guys. We come out to work every single day. We try to compete with each other and try to make each other better. So, you know, just adding a couple extra guys to the group, that makes us even better. 20 like before you just going through all that and having it taken away from you. Oh, yeah, it was definitely a long year, but, you know, something I'm very grateful for. I had a good support staff around me. I was able to do my rehab up here with uh, Maddie and with the rest of the Vikings training staff. And uh, the string staff, you know, they were really good to me. I was up here all off season and, you know, they helped me bounce back. They taught me how to be a pro and, uh, you know, they really helped me get ready for the season. I think Andre Patterson has credited you, your attitude, your approach to it. I think he said he'd even told Janarius um, that, you know, look at you as an example for how to come back from something like that. I guess what kind of drove you and in, in your rehab and efforts to come back? Uh, yeah, I, I guess it's just the way I do things. Uh, you know, the way I've always done things, I'm attacking at 100%. And uh, just try to try to get better each day. You know, try to take each day as an opportunity to get better. Learn from some of the older guys. You know, we have uh, was able to learn from Daniil and Griffin. We have Daniil and Griff, two vets, and able to just learn from them each and every day and uh, see what I can pick up. Uh, obviously, we have a great coach with uh, Coach Dre. He's one of the best in the league. Uh, and Amar J. And you know, just able to sit back and uh, take that time instead of feeling sorry for myself and sitting around. I was able to try to get better each day. Have you heard anything regarding your roster status for Sunday's game? Chance you might be signed to the 53. You think they'll just use the second eleva elevation? Do you know at all? I have not, I'm not worried about that. Uh, that's up to the coaches. I'm just trying to go out to practice and get better each and every day. Look like you were rushing from an inside spot a couple times against Dallas. Is that a, something new for you? Did you do that in college at all? Uh, I did a little bit in college, but it's been kind of new for me. Uh, you know, it's just that Dre says the more you can do, you know, the more you can provide. So he's been having me try to rush, teaching me how to rush from three technique as well as the edge. When it comes to someone like uh, Everson, who's a high motor guy, that's how Andre described you yesterday as well. I mean, what, what specifically about his game um, can you take and sort of add to what you do? Oh, yeah, just try to learn little things from, uh, you know, the veterans each and every day, uh, just the way he plays uh, with technique, the way he uh, approaches pass rush, you know, just kind of the passion and violence he plays the game with. You know, it's something I can like to add to my game. Anything else for Kenny? What's it been like seeing uh, Michigan State have the season they're having this year? Were you, you and Kirk talking anything to the couple Michigan guys recently? Yeah, we had a lot of hearing after that game for sure. It's good to see Michigan State rocking. Number three in the nation right now, 8 0, so hopefully we can keep it going. All right. Thanks, Kenny. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Thanks.